Dear Jane, it is a sad day, a rainy day on this March of 2022. I regret to inform you that Adobe, our beloved design software, has raised its prices once again. And I do not ken how I will continue to pay these outlandish fees, but I fear I will have to charge my clients more money for their logos. This is the second time in a decade that this has happened, and we must find a way to put a stop to this and stop this increase of prices. With love, John. John needs to stop being cheap. Adobe is a great software. It has so much to offer. And so today we're gonna to talk about actually the subscription change and what's happening with Adobe's prices and why they're going up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Well, Adobe, you've done it again. And when I say you've done it again, you've done it again only once in the last four years, which I think is actually pretty impressive seeing as Adobe is a publicly traded company. If you don't know what that means, you're new to graphic design, you're new to the business world, I'll explain that real quick. A publicly traded company means it's on the stock market. When it's on the stock market, public, like yourself, can buy shares on Robinhood or whatever crypto or whatever stock investing app that you want to, and you can buy shares of that company. And because of that, the major shareholders come together with their board, and their goal is to give their investors, people who own shares in the company, profits. Every year they're trying to increase profits. There's only three ways to actually make more money as a company. The first one is to raise your prices. That's what's happening here. The second one is to get more customers. Or the third one is to offer another service or add more services and get them to purchase more from you. That's gonna be difficult for somebody like Adobe to do. They are adding in more features and more, more uh, things onto their platform than they did before things like Adobe stock and there's other things coming, but the most important thing to think about is they need to increase their prices. Everything is going up right now. Inflation's going up, gas prices are going up. There's so many things that are going up. This is kind of to be expected when it comes to Adobe. They are a publicly traded company and they have an obligation to their board. That's what happens when you go from a private company like my business to a public company is you have to satisfy your board of directors. And so a price increase like this is really not that big of a deal to be honest. It ranges anywhere between 3.6 and about five and a half percent is what the price increase is gonna be. So if you're on Adobe right now and you're using one software, you're gonna be going from 19.99 to, a, oh my gosh, a whopping 20.99. It's gonna go up a dollar for you. If you're on the creative teams, it's gonna go from about 33 to about 35. If you're on the all subscriptions plan, which is what I have now, I think it's going from about 79 to 84. It's really not that big of a price jump. And with everything that Adobe has to offer, I'm proud to st stand behind them. I actually own stock in the company and I wanna see Adobe continue to grow and add more value. They do a lot of things outside of just the software from their Adobe Max events. They provide a lot of value to the community. They do a lot of teaching, a lot of education, and that costs money and they're trying to grow a bigger and better company. And I know this is a big corporation and some of you guys don't wanna back big corporations. So the ones that don't wanna pay these prices, you have other options. You have the GIMP or GIMP program. You have Affinity Designer. There's lots of other programs out there and I'll make a video on that for you to give you some alternatives here in just a few weeks so you guys can see that. But there are other alternatives. If you can't afford this, you're not at a place to pay the Adobe subscription fee, even for one software, all the softwares, and there's other alternatives out there for you. Maybe Adobe isn't right for you, and it's not Adobe's fault if you can't afford their software. You need to rise up to their level, not the other way around. They should not be coming down to our level. That's just my business belief. That's just how I do business. That's just the abundant mindset versus a scarcity mindset. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. They're raising their prices uh, just a small amount, and it may happen again in the next year or two, but that's just the cost of doing business. I wanted to create this video to kind of give you some context and give you my frame of mind of what I'm thinking about. I'm trying to lower my costs, but everything's going up. So I'm gonna to have to raise my prices a little bit for logo designs, graphics, all the different things that I'm doing. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Adobe's got a price increase coming. It's gonna take effect in April 27th, I believe. So if you haven't seen that already, this is your first notice of it. It's going up, very, very minor, but it's gonna go up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how you feel about that. If you're frustrated, if you're leaving Adobe, if you're gonna to go to an alternative service, I wanna know about it. Uh, I'm already using some alternative softwares, but I'm keeping my Adobe stuff. So I just wanted to share that. Hope you guys have a great day. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm Adrian Boysell and as always, keep looking up.